I don't think so. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we had our six thousand dollar goal, so uh, um, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, we are at six thousand. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's it's fan fiction time. Um, Wait, is it? Yes, oh, fuck it yeah. is. So I'm going to read some sexy, sexy fan fiction, and uh, we've got Grant up here playing some Star Wars Connect. So we're going to put it out to the uh, to the audience. Do you want um, fan fiction now, or do you want Grant to dive right no, into? No, we Star really want to. We really want to see Grant do this. <laughs> He's doing karate kicks, and there's nothing happening. Do I need to get low here? <laughs> you guys didn't give me a hand remote. Oh, by the way, on the mic right now is Jason Murphy and John Rubio. Jason Murphy and John Rubio. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, oh, sure. hey uh, what are they saying, Fungus Monkey? What? Hit a... start. Just hold your hand there. All right. Yeah, but how many of you guys are on this Xbox? Hey, okay, you know what? Shut up and don't help him. <laughs> See, Xbox this is hilarious. Here. We've got. How many people should be standing behind me this close? None. 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 What? Then this is going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. They want fanfic now. Okay. All right. Okay. You guys are pieces of shit. Yeah. All right. We're going to do some fan fiction. Um, <laughs> 3PO and R2 just said, fuck it. We're out. I'm not. <laughs> now we're left in the saddest Jedi Council room ever. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. You know what? You want, do you want to do that while... Uh, sure, you keep reading, I'll figure it out. Okay, we're going to do the fan fiction while we're uh, tuning. Do you want film fan fiction? I have two ready. Can you guys... You have two ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, can, you, can, you, uh, can you bring them over? Yeah. There we go. You have to get further away. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll do this. I got people behind. We'll see what it is. <laughs> if the, right. Yeah. Thank you. Just scroll down on that one, and then there's, there's another one in my room. <laughs> oh, there's another one what? All right. Oh, this one is from the African. What's up, African? It's titled "Jeff and the Mantis Lady." Ooh, yeah. This is this. Rubio's he perked up. I perked the fuck up. The night was young, and so was the Mantis Lady. Jeff was hoping to seduce. <laughs> she was very attracted to the panda-like breasts on the professor. Jeff, unfortunately, was too insecure to approach the heavenly mantis lady, so he asked his close friend and former life partner, Jason, thanks for that, <laughs> to help get all up in that mantis booty butt crack. God, this is hot. Being the good friend Jason was, he gladly played wingman for Professor Jeff. God damn it, Brushwood. He ruined in the mood. Uh, Jason enchanted the lovely mantis with the $5,000 tale of the rope dick. <laughs> After which he inquired as to what Jeff would need to do to spend a hot, passionate, steamy night of kinky panda tit on Mantis Lady action. Wait. She replied, put the entire Millennium Falcon Lego set one brick at a time in his dick hole. Oh. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that night, Jeff. Wait, why is that funny? Because that night, Jeff made sweet love to the mantis lady, Mrs. Devereaux. Mrs. Devereaux. Mrs. Devereaux. Ah. It was only missing the crystal corn dog. <laughs> that was fantastic. Okay, am I going over to uh, your e email, Manny? It's just you. There is no one else. There we go. We've got we've got another one here, and I'll I'll be doing some more throughout the night. Okay, so let's. Uh, where, 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 what was the last thing that happened in our, in our fiction? And it's on video. Thank you very much, Greg. You're welcome. <laughs> like I have Dude, that little puppet fuck is laughing at you. Okay. All right. The little puppet fuck in this room is laughing at me. Yeah, I'm not getting out of this chair. All right, I got, I got to read this. You feel bad? You only got 313,000 points. <laughs> I mean, that's something. You're an Ewok rocker. You're only an Ewok rocker. I never told this Jesus to you guys, Christ. but uh, I did go to Juilliard. So, <laughs> kind of a big deal. Do they teach people how to Yeah. Do they teach people how to look like dicks at Juilliard? <laughs> Jason, is there any other Juilliard? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's get back to something serious. Back, like back to the fiction. <clears throat> back to the story. I got I I read most of that story, and then yeah. Okay, this is.
people. It licked its lips seductively as it stroked its silky smooth mohawk. Then, in a voice reminiscent of one Barry White, it said, Hey, you lovely fellas. I need to thank you for creating me. But first, my creators must give me a name. Jason and Jeff gave each other an affirmative nod and <laughs> simultaneously said, Garfelius. Well then, <laughs> how may Garfelius thank his masters? Your wish is my command. These people wasted so much money on this. <laughs> I suck at my dick. <laughs> At that moment, an overwhelming urge of lust came upon the three souls, but all were too timid to make the first move. There must have been something in the air that night. Maybe it was the Doritos tacos Jason had eaten. But the professor <laughs> had never looked so ruggedly handsome to him. Jeff felt the same way about Jason and couldn't hold back his urges any longer. Dicks out of nowhere! <laughs> Woo, dicks! He, he yelled with glee as he tore off his lab coat and revealed his professor schlong. <laughs> It also sported an amazing beard. <laughs> One that put ZZ Top to shame. As the funny business started, Jason, Jason heard a knock at the door. Jeff, as he was wiping his mouth, stated, Who comes hither? The door opened, and it was none other than the one, the only, Corey Coleman. I heard something funny was going on, and I needed to see it for myself. To be continued. This is the Glitch King. In space, no one can hear you scream, Ooh. even if the screams are full of passion and lust. <laughs> These screams come from the SS Rape is easier in space. A ship captain by a man wielding a mighty cock pickle. <laughs> Panda Tits is known across the galaxy for his undying love for a good piece of mantis. <laughs> <laughs> the professor wakes up in the master bedroom of the SS Kickass, gazing at the luxurious, gleaming green breasts. Yes. Han Solo is a crime against humanity. You play this fucking thing, and you rub the shame in the face of George Lucas, who's definitely watching right now. Rubio, if you do not give this your all, I'm doing I swear to God, you get a hundred percent, or I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> we will shove a lightsaber up your ass like your name is Brennan. What is this? <laughs> Protocol boy. Is it's B O I? Yes. Dude, you tell us which is the bigger train wreck: what you're watching or what you're hearing. Keep going, Jason. All right. You know what? The, what's funny about what Jason is reading is the game we're playing is Jason's slash fiction. Yeah. This is Jason's dream. It's totally is. Um, the chest of the mantis recedes back and forth as it breathes in its slumber. <laughs> Jeff looks out the giant window, glaring at the reflection of his secret lover, the mantis known as Jaquan Nyeseka. <laughs> Jaquan Nyeseka. Panda Tits decides to take a shower to revive his mind after a night of extreme loving. Uh. The water drips through Jeff's beard as the ass crusher notices through the slit of the door. Nick was craving the beard man's throbbing dick. The ass crusher began to grab his tight ass, hoping for another human to love him. Jaquanieska says, uh, "This saw. is by far the weirdest party I've ever been to." <laughs> Jaquanieska saw Nick clutching his gluteus maximus, but she decided to leave the room and retire to her shared room with the butt sniper. <laughs> Somebody's reading porn, and we have this doughy space douche doing fisting motion. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God! Jeff finished his shower, taking a towel to wrap his tiny super AIDS-filled crotch. <laughs> Jesus! Nick <laughs> Nick found this to be appealing, with a feeling that is as strong as his hate for rage. The rage, the video game. <laughs> Through another door that leads into the bathroom, the Murph enters with brushwood, gro groping the Murph's junk. <laughs> brushwood whispers into Murph's ear, asking for more dicks. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, more dicks out of nowhere. Jason pushes Brian away, giving the magician the idea that the Murph and Panda Tits had something important to do. Brian leaves with a pair of throbbing blue balls. Wait, the way the fucking mystery dancer's dancing, I think I just lactated a bit. <laughs> I think the uh, I think the battery died. 
<laughs> Dicks from everywhere. <laughs> Somehow you're still winning. Nick notices Brushwood leaving. Yeah, Leia somehow to follow still has 57,000 points. <laughs> Nick notices Brushwood leaving and goes to follow the blue bald bitch. Jason walks up to Jeff. I can see that. <laughs> You're looking right into my soul with that one. <laughs> and, and lets a set of words release from the bowels of his heart. Whoa. The safe word is Batman, bitches. <laughs> the safe word is always Batman. <laughs> the Murph proceeds to wrap a rope around Beard Man's cock pickle, forming something known as rope dick. <laughs> I like how you got the pose bonus. <laughs> this game is complete bullshit. <laughs> oh, fuck. And I was the asshole holding the pose. And I could have just left and gotten another beer. Jeremy laughing right there. Thank you, Mystery Dancer. Thank you, Mystery Dancer. Mystery right. Dancer sucked my arm very nicely. He's way more fit than me, but he looks just as tired. <laughs> now we're going to have another little Mystery Dancer oh, here. Man, whoever that Mystery Dancer was, that guy was really talented. I, Can we read the, the fanfic while like, the ranker beats off? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, dude. We'll we'll tackle it because our mystery dancer is busy dancing. Our mystery dancer bailed on us. I love the fact that your goal is to land on one goddamn person or droid, <laughs> and he can't seem to pull that one off. Land on something, you piece of shit. Seriously, just smash one person. <clears throat> <laughs> Professor Jeff sat at his desk sexily, very sexily. His shirt was unbuttoned, chest hair glistening under the incandescent lighting of his room. Get him! Professor Dog slowly approached him and began to lick his Have foot. you still not killed anyone? It felt good, like rough sandpaper. Without hesitation, Professor Jeff closed his eyes and imagined Jason Murphy's wet mouth caressing his pinky toe. He groaned. He knew this thought was forbidden fruit as love was outlawed on the loaning bar. But some fruit is meant to be picked. As Adam before him, Jeff decided to go further into his garden, slowly unbuttoning his pants and getting the peanut butter jar loose. <laughs> he suddenly awoke, saw Professor Dog rubbing his lipstick against his bare leg. The garden was, <laughs> the garden was fiction, but the fire of his emotion was too real to refuse. How long is this thing? It's eight chapters, I kid you not. <laughs> I meant the lipstick. <laughs> He noticed his dog's red rocket fully engaged. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> and he couldn't help but imagine it pressing against his chiseled flabdomen. <laughs> and, with, and with the lid of the jiffy jar off and thrown halfway across the room, his supple hands reached into the tub and slathered the butter against his hairy body. He knew what this dog liked. <laughs> the peanut butter was too good for his pet to refuse as it crawled onto his lap and Adam oh. picked the forbidden right. fruit. Do they some picked dancing. the fruit of love and there was nothing to stop him. Suddenly the door People blew open. People want to see you dance. Him, Jason to Christina Murphy. Aguilera or Jeff, Jason Kelly Clarkson. Doing? He yelled. And yeah, why do I like right. it so much? <laughs> yeah, do some Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> they stared at each other. Then at Professor Dog. <laughs> Legos. Come on. <laughs> Jeff whispered. On. <laughs> One more. After, <laughs> after the damage was done. This is a whole fucking falling film. <laughs> <It is. laughs> after the damage was done, Jeff and Jason now had a plan. They would assemble the loading bar crew for the night to end all nights. A night of sin so dangerous and debaucherous that it would bring upon the loading bar Mageddon. They saw Corey the next day yeah. <laughs> preparing for another episode of <laughs> the BS and email show. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It was like they approached him at his desk. They, he called it his throne. He used it as a symbol of his dominance. Go back the other way. Jeff muttered. We have no, an you idea can't keep going that next way. multiplayer event. Oh, way. A multiplayer event? <laughs> for what game? Go back Corey one more asked. page. It's a sensual game. A and then go to Stronger player, right there on the left. Jeff said. There you go. From Japan? Corey asked. No, from 
Austin. You guys are about Cleveland, to get Jason Murphy and dancing England. the stronger Corey in Star Wars. And he liked it. <laughs> Why is <laughs> Chapter <laughs> Act One? Now we're finally. Straight I want you to see. Oh we're my like God. <laughs> we're like maybe ten percent of the way in. Are you gonna read this whole thing? Uh as long as it does something for someone. <laughs> As long as those dollars keep rolling yeah. in. Someone's like, no, no, no. It's cool. I got off. You can stop now. <laughs> so you're like really interested and you just suddenly lost yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I prefer to just hear you guys talk about it. Maybe you know, watch uh, Star stuff. Trek The Next Generation. Yeah. All right. Nick laid there patiently receiving, waiting to read. Oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Space douche. <laughs> His right. name is Jason. <laughs> Jason. Space douche. Jason Marafay. Nick laid there, patiently waiting to receive an anal awakening from his dear Uncle Cory. It had been three months since the last incident, and everyone was so excited to try something new. His straps were untight, but Nicky Poo liked him tight. His ass was loose. Yeah. Cory loved him. You're on fire. Jason and Jeff silently waited oh, until it was their great. turn. <laughs> their eyes Her filled with wonder and awe. Everyone was ready to press start on their sex game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is okay. here is my favorite line of the entire. Use thing. more tongue, Jason. <laughs> Corey started slowly since he was a gentleman. <laughs> Damn, Jason. I don't Jason. know when somebody's a gentleman. You said you'd never do that. <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead here. Jason knows these moves. I've got an idea, Jeff, wow. said Jason to Jeff. It yeah, hurt to wait, replied Jeff. Corey, that's too hard, cried Nick as a single tear went down his cheek. So, <laughs> wait, you missed is this supposed to imply that Leia was going out in there and kicking everyone's ass bloody, in dance moves? Causing and that's why she remained the number one slave? To pop a murder boner. <laughs> Yeah, that like, here's how you properly this. do it, and then all these other women died. Jason felt it was time. He reached for the red button. It was slippery from the lube in his hand, but that didn't stop him from pushing it in. As Corey continued pushing himself into Nick, the automated fucking device had been activated. I keep forgetting they're reading this this porn <laughs> shit because I can barely hear you over there. That's probably for the best. <laughs> no teeth, stated Jeff with a yelp. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what kind of fans do you guys have? The, the best, best kind of fans. The best kinds. I love the way this chapter ends. <laughs> Jeff his, was having a hard time. It's his black <laughs> asshole. <laughs> what? It's just, he shoved his own finger into his black asshole between his round, firm buttocks and released... A sea of white rapids of love while shouting, <laughs> Better than sex! But nothing was better than that sex. Hey, <laughs> let me ask you, do, does people put their names with this shit? Didn't they? They were supposed to like, sign off their names at the bottom. Because this is a like, they all participated. Jeff was having a hard time, but after a quick fluffing from the Venus of manly love, Jason... He had no difficulties. His heavenly sperm sacrifice, though, heavenly was the weakest sperm. by far. <laughs> that night, they slept like babies. <laughs> Sexy babies. People are writing this shit really fast. Sexy babies. Uh, we, we are less than a third of the way through it, dude. Yeah, this, whole, this story is crazy. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> Only with boners. Yeah, with more boners. It's Game of Bones. <laughs> To be fair, this is actually still better than Twilight. <laughs> yes. Uh, dude. Act, Fifty Shades act of Games. Three, dick into everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We've got ten minutes. This one actually has a disclaimer. What you are about to read is the most vile shit that the Lodies and Spilios could produce from our collective disgusting imagination. And so we brought in James Earl Jones to read it. I'll tell you what, man. I feel like me and Cargill really, really could do this service reading it if only we hit $7,000. <laughs> There's some really sexy shit here, I'm just saying. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good. <clears throat> Hold on, I just... I'm wanna, having some just, sort of cardiac episode. Out of nowhere, this is just... <clears throat> Kratos, who killed a Ripley... <laughs> Wait, Kratos is here now? Kratos. 
Kratos, who killed and replaced the god of hate fucking, said, quote, I have many ideas to make these mortals come. <laughs> what? <laughs> to which the other god said, could you please stop yelling, we're inside. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos then apologized. <laughs> no, nah, I'm fucking kidding. You killed one of the other sex gods as an example. <laughs> Jesus, this is so this, good. The, you all, guys, all it's quit. all it's gonna we take. Hit, come on, guys, we better hit seven thousand dollars because I want to read oh, some Jesus, of this shit. I'm Seriously, crying. I'm crying reading this. This is so good. How Only six hundred seventy-three dollars and fifty-one cents left. I'm telling you what, we'll read. We'll read everything forward from this point if we hit that. All right, dear. Each ten dollars counts, guys. And now a reading by the incomparable Cyrus. Oh, the only thing harder than these mortals come. My dick, dick. That was actually from God of War. Get rid. Oh no, that's fine. That was DLC. Dude, it goes. Not a very popular DLC. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Great, you made Brian cry. You guys the only happy? thing harder than Dark Souls is my big feline barb penis, Cyrus bellowed. <laughs> he then began performing fellatio on a Wiimote in order to prove his worth to the bearded god. A Wiimote. His action was worth enough to land him onto the largest peaks of Mount Olympus, but Jeff still doubted him. We'll just have to see about that, Jeff groaned. Jeff decided to strip slowly in front of Cyrus while singing Tribute by Tenacious D. <laughs> <laughs> then Jeff bent over and spread his ass, only to reveal the co-host 3000 oh, in no. all his glory. What? Okay, you, you, just, you guys just lost me there. Wait, hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, Rubio was with it. I was with it, but then now I'm just done. Where, where, where am I now? I lost my place because I pressed the wrong button. Nobody cares. It's the same whatever. It's oh, there we go. Whatever. All right. Let's do this! Okay. Shouted co-host, firing himself out of his ass like a cannonball. <laughs> Professor Jeff squealed with pleasure. Co-host popped out to reveal he had a giant murder boner of his own. <laughs> Not a murder After boner. Having watched Jason and Jeff play Red Dead Ridiculous earlier that day. I'm come blood. Co Why am I even here? <laughs> Why are either of us? Co Co-host shouted the lyrics from his favorite Cannibal Corpse song and began spouting blood Rubio. from his hydraulic robot penis like a fire hydrant, drenching Professor Jeff and Cyrus in his oily juices. Jason began to walk in from all the noise as he saw Jeff ramming a rock band guitar into Cyrus's rectum as Cyrus moaned in pleasure. This feels better than watching Nyan Cat on YouTube while masturbating, he cried out. <laughs> this is so fucking bizarre. Especially with the way you're reading it. As Cyrus moaned, a horde of black cats from an alleyway outside recognized his howling. They, kn <laughs> they knew that it could only be one man, their fearless leader. The cats charged into the room. Cats of all different colors and creeds. Some were even animated aristocats. <laughs> they began to penetrate Cyrus in every orifice until he could no longer speak. And thus, Catman was born. Wait. And then he drowned in cat jizz and Coast had to give him mouth to mouth to revive him. Man, I ain't never seen shit like that on Egotastic, Coho shouted. The fun is just beginning, said Vanessa Hudgens. Wait, what? Wait, really? what? <laughs> Sorry. The fun is just beginning, said Vanessa Hudgens, who climbed out of Professor Jeff's beard. <laughs> okay, I was just about to say, where did she come from? But that makes sense. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my favorite, the spherical robot exclaimed as he plunged into her anus. The co-host 3000 Wait. was never seen again. He's just plunging into asses like willy-nilly. That's just his that's thing, apparently. But That's true. There might be a surprise twist ending where he plunges out of an ass. <laughs> <laughs> but well, just imagine a world where, where co-host 3000 just runs in and out of assholes. What do you his... mean imagine? <laughs> oh, did you put it back? 
Billy heard that exclamation from Master's Follies, leading to the instant arrival of Uncle Popcorn himself. This Wait, is who's when Billy? Billy from Let's do, let, uh, the formerly Let's Do This. Oh, you're talking yeah. like I know who that is. <laughs> This is when we learned that Billy's pearly whites weren't referring to his teeth, but his birth-defected white balls. This incited by the immediate shaving of his all-too-overgrown bush when he stepped into the room. <laughs> as he enters, Adele's set fire to the rain instantly started playing as if it was waiting for him. This has only made him harder as he finally reached his personal <laughs> best size of three inches. This is the most surreal fucking shit. <laughs> It really drives you insane. I, I break, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Peter is not happy with me. Um, <laughs> then a package arrived at the door from <laughs> Nigel Duncan himself, Anything directed to happen. Billy and Billy only. He bit it open with his slightly less pearly whites that he calls his teeth. And there was as uh, there she was as magic as he imagined Adele, a.k.a. Nigel Duncan. She was motivated to come after reading the comments on any Spills blog post, directing her one and only command, Fuck Billy. <laughs> this is a stream of consciousness of shit. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Uh, I'm going to take a moment here and hand this off to Carlisle. I've been drinking all day. <laughs> and this isn't helping. <laughs> There's a pod race happening. We got a few more minutes. And porn. <laughs> it'll PMP. <laughs> yeah, it'll pod and porn. Billy has been waiting for this moment for years to come. Adele knew her singing commitment would stop her from seeing him, but that his pearly whites can't wait any longer, so she knew that he had to send him an inflatable fuck doll, custom made to be like her using her alias, Nigel Duncan, that she created to communicate with Billy before their forbidden love can come to fruition. Using the chocolate dildo that she sent Corey for Christmas for safekeeping, and boy, did he keep it safe this in his made ass a legit movie. every night. <laughs> She entered him slowly, and before going in further, just wait. What? Oh, oh, here it comes. She entered him slowly, and before going in further, she, uh, in the meantime, Professor Jeff masturbated while watching Cyrus get utterly destroyed by his cat minions. At that moment, it was like Cyrus and his cats became one, which was because they did. <laughs> that fateful day, Cyrus and his cats combined into a horrendously deformed feline pun monster and his lust for Jeff's asshole. The monster began to plunge its colossal penis into Jeff until the professor's heart finally gave out. Good. Blood He's covered the lapsed. ground beneath them, and a horrific monster knew that it had won. This is a catastrophe, it moaned. Bring Carlisle to me now. Just then, Carlisle appeared, holding a Blu-ray copy of Sinister in one hand and Dreams and Shadows in the other. Both are on sale now, so check them out. Carlisle. I, I just, didn't make that up. I swear to Christ. They, they just got back from I just got having lunch checked. with Quentin Tarantino. And <laughs> Prepare to get fucked hotter than a Uwe Boll film. You know, I met him once. We had lunch together. <laughs> he cooed. You know, I'm, I'm really disappointed that they didn't do their homework because Uwe Boll has actually seen me naked. True story. Yeah, do your fucking homework. Do your assholes. fucking... If you're going to name drop, have me name drop Uwe Boll, better know that not only have I met him and not only have I had a fight with him, but the man's seen me naked. If, we, if we're all... 8, I'm just saying. We're all uh, if we hit 8,000, I'll tell that story. Impressed. One after another, Carlisle shoves Sinister and then Dreams and Shadows up the creature's giant gaping asshole. It began to wail. And moan, and soon crumbled into grains of kitty done. litter. Uh, look, I think we're out of time, but uh, just now, Jason Murphy said, what? Who writes this stuff? And I said, uh, as the famous podcaster Tom Merritt once told me, you get the chat room you deserve. Hold on. Let me, let me just say, there are two more sentences left, and let me finish them. All right. That night, Brian Salisbury vowed revenge against Carlisle. He knew that Cyrus would never pun again or have a steamy gay sex with him while watching Criterion films anymore. To be continued in Brian's journey to the center of Carlisle's anus. <laughs>